looks like after you finished off the hat trick, all the hats are raining down. You kind of had a second where you were skating around by yourself on the ice. What's what's going through your head in that moment? Not much. I kind of always do that when it's a TV timeout. Uh, just skating around, thinking about my game. Nothing, nothing more than that, really. Oh, for sure. Miku is one of the best players in the league, and um, I'm not surprised he's making plays. He's doing every game and and every year. So um, you just you just want to be open, and you're gonna get the puck. What um. I didn't much. I didn't look much at it. Um, obviously, I thought the guy came pretty hard on him. Um, it's just unfortunately uh, he was making a. I think he was making a play right before, so he wasn't ready for it. Um, I mean, I heard he's okay. He's he's walking around. He's he's doing he's doing better. So I'm I'm happy for him. Definitely, I think yeah. From our perspective too, I think we ramped up our game. Uh, I think we're playing more physical. We see guys that usually don't make hits that can, can that hit a few big ones like G and a couple other guys. And McDermott was in there a lot too. Uh, everyone is sticking up for each other, and I think that's that's really good to see. Um, obviously, it felt great. Um, I mean, getting my first one. I've uh, been having a couple um, two goal games, to, um, but never really came through with a hat trick. So it was nice to get, finally get one. And um, I mean, yeah, I'm just happy to be producing for the team and help the team win games. And and um, yeah, today was was a lucky day for me. I guess. How do you feel in general? I mean, yeah, Florida is a really good team. I mean, I think in the first half of the game or even throughout the whole game, I think it was a really tight game. It was going back and forth. Um, I think in the first period, none of us was creating a lot of chances, really. Uh, I think both teams were playing a really good D and and um, playing solid game, both of us. And I mean, yeah, I think we just stick stick uh, stick to it. And, and you can just see at the end, everyone is sacrificing and blocking shots. And EJ, EJ say one on the goal line, I think, yeah. Uh, I think that shows a lot of character from our team that we can stick uh, stick stick up for each other and uh, and sacrifice ourselves for for the win. I think it was a great job by everyone today. Seems like part of the fourth game of the year, and you guys have taken to it frequently. How much do you just feel your team has improved since that point? How much better are you more talented than your team? Uh, I think a lot. I mean, I think we've been really really good lately offensively. Uh, we wanted to clean up uh, clean it up a little bit at the back end, and I think definitely we did it today. I think. Kemper played a really good game, came up with some really big saves for us. Uh, he was there when we really, really needed him. Um, but yeah, I think we, we're a different team now than we than we, when we played them last time. So um, yeah, I think we, we're going at the right direction here. Um, I know you mentioned that you've had a lot of two-goal games in your career. I think it's like 12, 13, 15 or something like that. Is, how much is that on the back of your mind, just like wanting to get a hat trick? Does that go across your mind at all? In the game? No, no, not really. Um, during the game, I, I'm just trying to. If I get a if I get a chance to shoot it or make a play, um, I'm doing it. Um, if if I have two and someone has a better chance than me, and uh, then I pass it, no, no question about it. Um, in the game, I don't think I don't think about it, and not really outside either. Um, I always just been thinking if, if if it happens, it happens, and if not, if not. But. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm just trying, play, trying to play the right game, uh, play solid defense, manage the puck, um, get on the hunt, do all the right things, and and good things will happen, I guess. Thank you, Andre. Yeah, Andre. thank you. Go ahead. Jackson, the last two games have all been not blowouts, but like not very close games. What's just the environment like? How is it different in a game like this one? Uh, yeah, we can't count uh, score seven goals every game, but um, you know these close competitive games, uh, you know they're a little bit more fun, especially for my end to, to play in. And um, you know that was a really good game of hockey tonight. You could see the urgency on on both sides, uh, both teams, and uh, it was just a lot of fun to play in. How nervous was the last game? Uh, not nervous, but it got a little hectic. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. Do you think that's 
Did you see, did you see Aaron play? I saw the replay. I I, uh, I actually thought that the, the puck was under me, and then I saw the replay that it was his <laughs> stick. So save of the game for sure. Why did that, what did that uh, you see on that play? Just, uh, you know, when, when when you have situations like that, I think in the final minute, you just it's all desperation, right? And uh, those are those are the type of games that you need to win uh, come playoff time. And uh, it's fun. I mean, those are the competitive moments that you 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 live for as a professional athlete. So uh, those are just the the fun situations at the end of the game, trying to protect a lead at home. And I just uh, was trying to be in the right spot, and uh, thankfully I was able to stop it from from crossing the line. Eric, in the last minute of the game. Yeah, you just try to keep eyes on it. Uh, obviously, the first step is uh, is finding it through traffic to start, and then and then just tracking it and trying to beat beat everyone there with your glove. And um, the more whistles we can get, uh, you know, we can kind of get reset and and back to our, our structure and control and, and slow things down. So just try to cover up as many as I can. What did you see on the, on the hit on Chris Donaldson? What did you think of the play? Yeah, uh, just tough, tough to see, I think, from probably either team. Um, you know, it's a fast game out there. You're moving it upwards of 20 miles an hour, and it's physical, and things happen fast. And, um, you know, it's an unfortunate play. It's super scary for, for Jake. And um, thought it might have been maybe charging, but um, the refs didn't think so. But um, I think if if you're on the other end of that, like like they were, you know, and we were like that, we'd probably be saying it was a clean hit, just like they did. So I mean, it's tough. I mean, you just never want to see that. And uh, hopefully he's okay. I haven't I haven't heard anything yet, but that's that's the stuff you just uh, makes you sick to your stomach when it when it happens to any any uh, teammate or opponent. With all the things we know now about concussions and head hits and stuff like that, is it hard to look at plays like that and really use the word? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a, uh, it's kind of something you got to tiptoe around. I mean, you can't, you can't take the physicality out of the game, and but you don't want anything like that to happen in the game. So it's, uh, it's a fine line, and uh, you know, he was in a pretty tough spot. I didn't love the, love the hit. I think it was he kind of targeted him in a, in a tough position, but um, you know, it, it happens fast and. Um, Unfortunately, those hits are still part of our game, and it's getting less and less. But um, you know, it, it seems like what is that two now in a week that you've seen guys get stretchered off, knocked out cold. So I mean, that's that's not that's probably not good for our game. Well, it's not probably not. It's not good. And um, but you know, like I said, it's a fine line. And uh, you know, I just hope he's okay. It's, it was definitely really scary. Given your situation, your trigger to really strike home. I mean, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I've had some concussions. A lot of guys have had concussions, but that one felt like a whole different atmosphere. You know, when you're when you're like that, um, knocked out cold. So it's just a tough, um, tough thing to see. But I, I did like how we responded. You know, we were really physical. Kubi stepped up and dropped the gloves. Guys were laying uh, uh, laying the body after that, and we. It's it's tough to continue on after something like that happens, but. Um, you know, we stuck together and hung in there, and that's uh, the type of camaraderie and uh, you know uh, teammates that we have, and uh, that's that's what we needed. And we came together and found a way to win for for Jake. Yeah. So did you feel the environment suddenly Yeah, I mean, at, at first it sucked the life out of the building. I thought, and then it kind of picked up some big hits, um, and then uh, we started to rumble a little bit and. Um, but like I said, we, we kind of came together after that, I thought, and, um, you know, the, the bench was pretty quiet and down after, after that, but we, we rallied and, uh, got the job done. And, um, that was a, a big win, win for us. I mean, that's like Darcy was saying, you're, we're never going to score seven, seven goals every night. We're never going to win by four every night. So I think that game like that was good for us. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of blood. Uh, yeah. um, Ryan O'Byrne had one like 10 years ago where he had like 80 stitches across his cheek. That one was maybe a little worse, but that was 
took like what five minutes to get all the blood off that was gross yeah i, I got some blood on my pads even yeah yeah but uh uh it was good to see him come back and and obviously be okay i'll look like a lot of stitches i don't know how many but uh yeah. But he's a warrior to come back with just a shield on. And most guys go down with just a little stick to the face, and he's just stayed up and continued on. So that says a lot about how tough he is. Um, sorry, did either of you about your trip? What did Andre Burkhoff do? Like, how, how much did he impress you? Here? Yeah, he, you know, he's got an unbelievable shot, and he was uh, obviously using it tonight. And great to see him get rewarded. Those were, uh, you know, all great plays. And whenever you score three goals, and in the game, you're, you're doing something right. So obviously that was huge for us and uh, uh, great to see him get rewarded. Thanks, thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I guess he's doing he's doing good. He's he's a uh, scary moment, but apparently he's he's seen our trainers and everything's going good. I, I think it might have been clean. Yeah, it's hard. I, I only got the one angle on it um they kept showing it over and over and it looks clean from there i'd like to see it coming from the other side to see if he gets a piece of his head or not but um the angle that i saw looked clean what are your thoughts in general on hits like that and what's going out about concussions and two guys get pressure off now from this long testing yeah um it's unfortunate, but I mean, it's either a legal hit or it's not. You know what I mean? If it's not, then they should, the suspension should be handed out. If, if it is, I, 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 there's just, it's tough. Like, that's a little different because he's going in on the four check to finish the check. It's, it's physicality is part of the game. I don't love seeing guys go down, especially when they can't get up. Um, but I don't, I don't think you can take it out of the game. I don't. I mean, you, you got to be careful and when you're going in with guys, certain situations, their head down. I think I see lots of um, instances where guys lay off hits just to be safe. Um, but, but some guys, that's how they have to make their living playing physical and, and, and making hits like that or, or similar to that. Then lots of times guys just bounce right back up, you know, so every once in a while they just get caught wrong like he did tonight. Do you think that being tricky is just a part of the battle? Oh yeah, I mean sometimes it's just, in, but there's a split second there on some of them on decisions, and oftentimes you'll see guys drop their head. I, I, that wasn't the case with Jake; I mean, he didn't drop his head at all. So I, I, that's why I don't think he, he he got him in the head. I think he just got all body there. Well, Berkey was awesome tonight. Skating, shooting. I mean, he was one guy that was able to get into the interior of the ice and, and get himself in scoring areas, and, and, he sh and he shot the puck. I thought we passed up on some shots as a group, um, especially early on in the game when we got in there, maybe getting a little fancy, but it was a really tight checking game. There wasn't a lot of place to, or room to move, especially once we got in the offensive zone. And um, I thought our guys did a nice job checking, but... Um, you know, we those guys, they just have a knack for making plays when something's available to them, and, and they made them tonight. We needed them to, especially with a couple of the guys that we have out of the lineup. You know, we needed other guys to step up, and uh, Berkey was the guy tonight. What do you think of Kemper? I thought he was great. Yeah, really, really strong down low on rebounds and, and uh, pucks that were laying out. There was a lot of pucks that when they started to push that were laying around in the paint, even in the six on four, six on five, um, where they're coming to the net hard, uh, you know, converging with all their guys and we're putting our bodies there and just loose pucks. And he found a way to keep out of the net and then still swallow them up and get us some whistles. You've been in physical games before, but what does it say tonight when guys aren't normally physical on your team? Exactly love the response loved it yeah because there's been times in the past where teams would come out and and get physical on us and and we you know we, we and we can push back in other ways um you got to ramp up your game and in intensity and win more puck battles and win more races but tonight you see gerard gets a big hit after burkowski gets a big hit after i mean guys start ramping up the physicality and helped us and we were able to stretch out a lead there and 
Um, unfortunately, that we, we kind of let it go in the third, but we get another big goal from Berkey to get a win. But I like the fact that we're ready to do that, especially after you see one of your teammates go down. You mentioned you let it slip away a bit at that, but what, what did you think of the check there? I thought it was great. Yeah, it was really good. Checking was really good tonight. Uh, there, were, there were games earlier this year in Columbus where you guys would lose close games after the break and tie it up. What's yeah. changed in the last month? You know, how long have you been looking ahead for a tough stretch to back up? Not a lot. I did. I didn't like a couple of those third periods against Columbus, but I think you win some, you lose some. You know that that's the truth to it. You're going to have nights when another team pushes and things start going good, and and even when you're trying to do the right things, you may find a way to score. And other nights, you 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 get an answer back and a, and a timely goal. And that's what we got tonight. It's a it's the sort of attitude and the mentality that we're still going to push to try to win the game that I want to see. And I, I can't say that it it wasn't there in Columbus, but some nights it just doesn't go your way. A couple more, please. Um, Dante's points against, and I think you had him in your early start line. Tonight. Yeah. What did you see from his game, and how impressed is it he's doing it now? Well, <laughs> I mean, what he's doing is really impressive to me. Um, and it doesn't have to show up on the score sheet to be impressive. So um, he just helps in so many other ways. And he's just such an intelligent puck mover gets us in and out of our zone when, when even when players that are out on the ice with them start getting panicky and they, we get extended and we start running around if the puck goes to him I always feel confident that he's gonna like calm it down for a second and make the right play to give us some breathing room and he does that a lot even tonight especially late in the game I think he was on the ice for almost all the last four minutes of the game and, and uh but I mean to be able to play this many games all the time and still rock out 29 minutes and and then I go walking into the gym after the game he's in the gym so I mean <laughs> this guy's not normal um so but yeah I thought that you know there even tonight are as a team I did I thought we didn't have our best jump and I don't think they did either it took a while to the for the game to sort of pick up that intensity and, and the pace to it um but but I mean, he's a guy that just finds a way to continue to be able to play at a high level for, for a lot of minutes on every night. You had a veteran show, two more. You had a veteran show, uh, a warrior mentality tonight with the squad. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, you know, when you see a guy get hit and then he's bleeding all over the ice and, and you know, he's gone getting stitched up and then comes back and then and wants to still be part of the game. And you, you know you're not feeling good. Every time you breathe, your mouth is hurting, your teeth are hurting and all that. And uh, Jack comes back out and finishes the game. We only had 5D after we lost McDonald's. So he's playing a lot, played well. I mean, it's you. it just shows you how much he wants to win and how much he wants to be a part of it. It would be easy to be like, I ain't feeling great and, and stay in the locker room or, or just take the odd shift. But he's out there playing, as, you know, as, every time we put him out there, he was jumping over the boards and excited to get back out there and you need that from your guys you got you got you got to want to fight through some adversity and and some tough nights and when you're not playing well or feeling well you got to want to play when you're not 100 percent, you got to want to play otherwise you have guys missing time all, all over the place and it hurts your team Last up here. yeah you you had a lot of three four five goal games lately and you're up by a lot what does it do for a team to have to play a really good team in a really close game and just have that kind of run to let it happen it's important. Yeah, it's important because the message we'll send as a coaching staff will be like, that was great, great checking game. And, and we got to be able to win games one nothing, 2-1, 3-2. Two, two. It's not, we're not going to put up seven every night. So you, we have to pay attention to that. And even out of tonight's game, I like their checking, but there's still some areas where we got to, we, we still got to get better in a few of the areas that, that we want to. Okay, thank you very All much. Right, thanks. Thank you.